There are lots of options for level two semi-autonomous driving equipped vehicles right now. It's basically super fancy cruise control, letting the car do the work while the driver sits back, but the driver still needs to pay attention to take over at a moment's notice. The next evolution in this space would be level three, which hasn't been certified for use on US roads until now. Mercedes-Benz is the first to bring this tech to the States with its drive pilot driving system. And the state of Nevada just gave it the green light. Backing up for a second, the SAE or Society of Automotive Engineers created a tier of vehicle capability with respect to machine control. It starts at zero and goes to five. Obviously zero is when it's just the person behind the wheel in control. Level one is basic cruise control that just handles keeping the car at a set speed. It can also include lane centering and adaptive cruise control, but typically it's one or the other. Level two is when lane control features work together with acceleration and braking control. Common examples of level two semi-autonomous capabilities include Ford's Blue Cruise, GM Super Cruise, and Tesla's Autopilot. At level three, we finally hit a point where the driver is allowed to disengage their focus a bit. The car still very much needs someone sitting behind the wheel ready to jump back in control. But otherwise, when the conditions for use are met, the driver can take their eyes off the road. The best use case at the moment for level three systems would be when you're stuck in traffic and it's stop and go. Level two systems can handle this too, but there could be situations where you need to jump in right away. A level three car, however, shouldn't need your help. Still, with level three, the car will alert the driver when it needs you to take over. And if you don't respond, the car will slowly bring itself to a stop and turn on the hazard lights. The next levels up, four and five, are when you don't need to take over, and the car should be able to sort out stuff independently. So what is Mercedes-Benz offering? The system is called Drive Pilot, and it's available on the 2024 EQS sedan and the S-Class. Mercedes uses GPS, LiDAR, ultrasound, cameras, and tons of sensors to make it all work. There are even road wetness sensors in the wheel wells to let the car know about road conditions. Mercedes says the GPS system employed here is more precise and powerful than traditional GPS, so the car knows exactly where it is. And available map data is constantly being updated as well. Once engaged, there are features of the car that unlock themselves for use as the driver can now take their eyes off the road. So if you were in the right situation with traffic crawling along, maybe you could pop on a movie? Still, with even all of these systems in place, the top speed of drive pilot is limited to 40 miles per hour. And as I said earlier, here in the US, it's only legal for use in Nevada at the moment. Mercedes is working with the state of California to try and get approval as well. I'd suspect as this system keeps learning and Mercedes keeps evolving it, the speed limit should rise and it will be allowed in more places. For now though, it's being kept on a pretty tight leash.